Hi everyone! The watermelon and the new raised bed are looking absolutely beautiful. Today I'm going to share with you how to make three really easy DIY supports for your watermelon to hold them up on the trellis so you have plenty of watermelon all summer long. Now it's 4th of July weekend. Happy 4th! And what says 4th of July more than a nice, cool, refreshing melon? Now these won't be quite ready by 4th of July, but hopefully with a little bit of support and a little feeding that we're going to do today, they'll be ready in no time. So let's jump into the video. Now, if you're short on space, growing watermelon vertically is a great option for you. They're growing here on this A-frame trellis. We install this as part of our raised bed garden series, so you can go back and watch that for all the info. But here I'm growing sugar baby watermelon, which is a, del a delicious variety. It's very sweet. It goes from seed to harvest in about 75 days, so it's a great variety to plant here in the midsummer. But it does need some support. We don't want that little vine to break. We want this little sugar baby to grow to full size. So we're going to do three different DIY supports today using things you might already have around your house. Now, how many of you ladies wear or used to wear knee-high pantyhose? I know I used to years ago, but this is going to be our first support. And this is great because it's really stretchy, so it will accommodate the watermelon as it grows. So you very carefully want to put your knee-high pantyhose over your fruit, being really careful not to break that stem. So hold it underneath with one hand to support it, and then uh, I'll tie it up to the trellis to give it some support as it grows. Now the next thing I'm going to use for some support is a little produce bag. I just bought some avocados in this the other day. Save these you guys because they work really well to support all types of vegetables around your garden. So here we go. I'm just going to slip this little netting bag over the second watermelon I have growing and then just tied up the trellis. And I really like these particular supports because they are see-through and that way you can see your fruit as it grows, which is always really fun. This also has a little bit of stretch to it, which will accommodate the growing fruit. Now, so far I only have two melons on the vine, but there's lots of more flowers on here. I've got male flowers right now, but hopefully some more female flowers will appear and I'll have more melons that start to develop. But the third easy DIY watermelon support is tool. Now you might remember seeing on my Instagram and on some of our videos how I use this tool as a cover to keep the birds and the squirrels off my little seedlings. I just cut off a piece of that and this you can buy at any fabric store. And I'll show you here on my cucumber, which is growing on the same trellis, how I attach the tool. And this tool is really fun because you can buy it in lots and lots of different colors. So that way you have all kinds of colorful supports for your melons. So this I'm supporting the cucumber here, which we're gonna pretend is a melon for now. And then same way, just tie it onto the trellis. And this is kind of fun because tool usually comes in, in larger sizes or you can buy it in whatever size you want. And that way you can kind of adjust the size depending on the type of watermelon that you're growing. So look around your house, get creative. Old t-shirts also work really well, but definitely provide you some support for your watermelon. And just hang on to those old knee-high stockings. So now what we're gonna do is give our watermelon a little mid-season boost to hopefully boost more flowers and fruit into production. Now at this point in the growing season, we're gonna give our watermelon a little mid-season boost. But you wanna avoid giving them a fertilizer that's high in nitrogen at this point, because you don't wanna to cause tons of more leafy growth. You wanna increase flowering and fruiting. So what I'm gonna start with is my favorite compost. So this is made in my very own garden. I love the smell, it's so earthy. It's a really good time-release fertilizer to spread around your plants as they're flowering and fruiting mid-season to give them a nice little boost. Just kind of, gonna kind of rub that at the base and then we're gonna water it in. So I'm gonna grab my hose link retractable reel to fill up my watering can. This thing makes watering so much fun. Here we go. So far for our watermelon mid-season boost, we've got the compost, slow release, we'll feed our watermelon over the next couple of months. Now we dig in with the water soluble, which is the quick release, which will give our watermelon a nice little boost. So first I'm gonna go with a Vermisterra worm tea. 
helps your plants be healthy. Gets all that good bacteria in it, beneficial bacteria. And now I'm gonna give them a water-soluble fertilizer that's not high in nitrogen. It has a higher phosphorus and potassium, which helps with flowering and fruiting. So just look at your garden center and find the water-soluble fertilizer that has a higher middle number and a higher N number. The NPK are the three numbers on your fertilizer bottle. The middle one is fast phosphorus and the third one is potassium. So we've got all that there. I'm gonna stir it up. So we're gonna give it a nice little soil drench and soak that compost way down into the roots of the plants, as well as pour the worm tea and the water-soluble fertilizer straight down to the roots. So I'm curious which watermelon support you're gonna be using, the pantyhose, the produce bag, or the little tool, or maybe even an old t-shirt. And in case you're wondering, it's not too late to get sugar baby seeds planted. If you have at least 75 frost-free days left in your growing season, where you have warm temperatures between 70 and 90 degrees, you can get some seeds planted. And I have the seeds in my container garden seed collection. And this weekend, to celebrate the 4th of July, everything on my website is 25% off. You'll also get a free red burgundy bush bean seed packet with your order. And something really special for the 4th of July is, this is brand new, a nice little sticker of Mac with your purchase. Isn't that cute? Use the code MAC over at CaliKimGardenHome.com to get your 25% discount, your free seeds, and your MAC sticker. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.